The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus has some features that will make it one of the most powerful tablets out there. I am Keno and this is Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. This video is sponsored by TechScore. If you want an amazing platform where you can shop your favorite gadgets and get amazing deals, cashback points and awesome prizes, then go online to tech-score.com. It's absolutely free to register. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. The first powerful feature is the support for 45 watt super fast charging. Previous Samsung flagship tablets had only 15 watts charging support, which was quite low considering the battery capacity. Now, since the Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus are getting bigger batteries, it makes sense for Samsung to also increase the charging speeds for the tablet. This information is coming from a new certification, which shows three model numbers, SMT970, SMT976N and SMT976B. And the certification shows that the devices have support for both 15 watts and 45 watts charging speed. So the 45 watts charging speed might be limited to just the Tab S7 Plus, while the regular Tab S7 will have 15 watts charging speed, which is still pretty small. If they want to make a difference between the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus in the charging department, at least make the Tab S7 25 watts like the Galaxy S20 series. Also, there is no confirmation if the 45 watts charger is going to come in the box. They might include the 15 watts charger and sell the 45 5 watt charger separately like they did with the Note 10 Plus. I really hope they don't do that. The other powerful feature is the use of the Snapdragon 865 Plus. There were previous rumors that the 865 Plus was not going to happen, but Qualcomm just announced it a few days ago, so those rumors were false. The Snapdragon 865 Plus is an upgraded version of the already powerful Snapdragon 865, so it has a higher CPU clock speed at 3.1 GHz, which is the first mobile chipset to cross the 3 GHz mark. It also provides 10% faster GPU performance, so there's gonna be a slight improvement in the gaming performance over the Snapdragon 865. The new chipset also gives access to Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 connectivity, both of which are first in a smartphone chipset, and Qualcomm promises improved 5G connectivity over the Snapdragon 865, and this is pretty much confirmed because Ice Universe put out a tweet where he listed the Samsung devices that are gonna use the Snapdragon 865 Plus, and the Galaxy Tab S7 series is one of them. Anyway, the tablet is gonna launch on the 5th of August alongside the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series. So if you want to stay updated and get more tech related videos, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Tab S7 series in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.